Mo good morning, face. Good morning, everyone. It's four o'clock. I woke up and the wind had swung from directly in front of us, just off to the side a little bit. So I hoisted the main. Everything looked good, so we wound out the head sail and we're sailing again. We're actually flying at about six and a half knots. There's one island uh, that's in the way in about 50 miles time. So that's where we are. Um, that is the little island. It's hard doing this back to front. I had a little sleep. We were on the on engine. Oh, excuse me. Good morning everyone, just an update, I, uh, I have arisen, we have sailed 230 nautical miles from Vavau and we are 950 nautical miles from our destination. This is my harness that I've been using, so what I would like is everyone that's trashed us, which is fair enough because we haven't been very safe. I agree with, I wasn't particularly concerned about my own safety, but when someone pointed out that you've got a responsibility to show others, particularly kids watching children, you should wear a harness. There. Harness, which is attached to a lanyard. You can access not all, but most of the boat whilst being harnessed in, which is good because you're not going to fall off. How good's that? A bit overpowered here. Oh, can you see those sails behind me? Oh. Look how much of a lean we're on. It never looks as bad on camera, never ever. Like if it's if it looks like it's one metre waves on camera, I promise you it's two. I could deal with a lot more wind, but I don't need any more than this. I, I would, this is absolutely fine for me, thanks. I think, yeah, look at all that. <laughs> I am so tired. I have to, I have to stay away until we pass this island. It's really hard. There's one island on this like whole trip, and I can't go to sleep. And I've this is as tired as I've ever been. Oh, blessed oven, beggar and roaster, we ask for your divine guidance. Shall we pass to the port or the starboard of the upcoming island? Nod once for port and twice for starboard. Once it is, we thank you, Oracle of the Sea. Okay. So just passing the island behind me now. Thank God I can have a little bit of a sleep. It's pretty cold though, and the wind has swung to the east a little, which means I can head directly on course. I've been heading about 55, 60 degrees off, which is annoying because you don't feel like you're getting anywhere, but we certainly are now. Okay, there's something I've got to show you. Annoying thing for the day. Down here somewhere, there's like this weird squeak. Can you hear it already? I think it's coming from here. 
That's not bad. Imagine trying to sleep in that. And, and, and no, I had nothing to do with this. Look at that wet patch. Gross. And I don't do well with noises and creaks and clanks. I think that'll take up a fair percentage of uh, annoying things for the day. And I've given you two, so you're very lucky. Okay, daily report. This is good actually because uh, the fact that I'm reporting to you guys means that I'm actually doing it, which sometimes I don't. I didn't do it for day one or two, but this will be, this is very important stuff. Day three, we've traveled 280 nautical miles. This is all up. Uh, we have 900 to go. We are bearing between 200 and 215 degrees at approximately 6.2 knots. The wind has changed from south southeast, fortunately and as expected to southeast, which means we're trying to head south. So the wind is, we're no longer close haul. The wind's no longer headed straight at us. It's sort of come over here a little bit, which is absolutely fantastic. Less frequent slamming of waves. I can uh, relax on the sails a little bit. Everything's breathing a lot nicer. The motion's much more nice, uh, comfortable. Sleeping is easier. It's really, really good. Wind's between 17 and 22 knots. Okay, that's what's happening in my world today. Still got plenty of these hats for sale, guys. They're very nice, fit on your head quite well. Keep the hair out of your eyes. Very practical and stylish.